Welcome to Shalom Training. My name is Anthony. Series C, rely on God resources. We rely on tour guide when we visit a new country. In this series, we can rely on God's resources to help us to grow our Christian life. 2 Peter 1.3 said, His divine power had given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of Him who call us by His own glory and goodness. God has given everything so that we can live a godly life. Let's look at how God is going to help us. There are six areas we can rely on God's resources, namely His Spirit, His strength, His faithfulness, His peace, His provision, His help in temptation. Now, let's look at it individually. First, His Spirit. 1 Corinthians 3.16 said, Don't you know that you yourself are God's temple, and that God's Spirit dwells in your midst? One way to understand this verse better is through meditation, and the best way to meditate is to ask questions. Question 1. Where is God's Spirit dwells in? Here, it tells us we are God's temple, God's Spirit lives inside us. When God's Spirit lives inside us, His Spirit will teach and lead us in the path we should take. Let's look at another verse. 1 Corinthians 2.12 He said, What we have received is not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, so that we may understand what God has freely given us. Let's meditate on this verse. Question 1. What spirit did we receive? We receive God's spirit, not the world's spirit. The world's spirit teaches us about the world system and value, while God's spirit teaches us God's way. Question 2. What is the purpose? God's spirit helps us to understand. If God didn't spare Jesus to die for our sin, He will also freely give us all things that will benefit us. Next resources is his strength, God's strength. Isaiah 41 verse 10 said, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Let's meditate on it. Question 1. Why don't we need to fear or dismay? This is because God promised to be with us. He reminds us He is God, the one who created the world, the one who opened the Red Sea. So we should not fear or dismay. Question 2. What will God do for us? He promised to strengthen us when we are fearful or weak. He promised to help us when we face difficulty. He will continuously support us and uphold us. He will not forsake us. Next verse, Philippians 4, 13 said, I can do all this through him who gave me strength. Let's look at this verse and meditate. Question 1. What can I do? Well, this verse reminds us we can do all things, everything. Question 2. Why? Because God gave us the strength, not because I know how or have the power to do it, Purely because God gave me his supernatural strength to do it. It's not me, but God strengthened and enabled me to do it. Next, his faithfulness. Lamentation 3, 22-23 said, Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassion never fails. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Let's meditate on it. Question 1. What did God love do for us? Because of His great love, we are not consumed or destroyed. Because He always had compassion and mercy on us. Question 2. How often is His faithfulness? Well, His faithfulness is new and fresh every morning. Never stop. Great is His faithfulness. Next. Let us look at Numbers 23, verse 19. He said, 
God is not human that he should lie, not a human being that he should change his mind. Does he speak and then not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? Let's meditate on it. Question 1. What is God's character? God is not like us human, telling lies and often change our mind. Question 2. How is God a promise keeper? God is not like us human, always lying and changing our mind. Instead, whatever he said, he will do. Whatever he promised, he will fulfill. After Joshua led Israel into the promised land, Joshua said, None of God's promise to their forefather has failed. All is fulfilled. He is a promise-keeping God. We can trust in Him. Next is peace. Isaiah 26 verse 3 said, You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Let's meditate on this verse. Question 1. Who can give us perfect peace? In this verse, God can give us perfect peace. This peace has nothing to do with outside environment. Even if outside environment is very bad, God's peace will calm our heart and mind. Question 2. How can I get perfect peace? When we trust in Him, we can get perfect peace. A story was told about a little girl. She was sleeping peacefully in the ship cabin. Suddenly, there was a loud bang on the door. When she opened it, a sailor came to her and said, Little girl, faster wear your jacket, the life jacket. We have to leave now. She asked, why? Because the ship have water come in and it's going to sink. But this little girl was so sleepy, rubbing her eyes. She asked, Is my father still the captain of this ship? The sailors were surprised and said, Yes. Well, she replied, As long as my father is still the captain, I'm safe. She closed the door and go back to sleep. In the same way, as long as God is still in charge, we'll be fine in any circumstances. 1 Peter 5.7 said, Cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. Let's meditate. Question 1. What God encourages us to do? Well, we are encouraged to cast our anxiety, cares and worry to Him. Question 2. Why? Because He wants to care for us. If God can calm the roaring sea in the New Testament, if God can change the water to wine, Definitely, he can solve our little anxiety and care. In fact, in Matthew, he promised to provide all our daily needs. So let us pass to God our anxiety and care. He can do a better job than us. Next, his provision. Romans 8.32 said, He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? Let's meditate on this verse. Question 1. Why God give us many things? Well, if God can sacrifice Jesus, his beloved son, for us, what else can he not willing to give us? Now that we are his children, God will graciously give us all things. Question 2. How can we receive? All we need to do is to ask. God is more interested to give than we ask. God's provision is always exceed our needs. Philippians 4.19 said, And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of His glory in Christ Jesus. Let's meditate. Question 1. How did God meet our needs? This verse said, My God will, not may be meet all our needs according to his riches in Christ Jesus. Question 2. What must I do to get God's supply? The Bible tells us that even our earthly father will give when we ask them. How much more will our heavenly father pour to us when we ask him? If God can feed the bird in the air, surely he can provide our daily need. 
So all we need to do is to ask him to provide. Satan is very jealous the way God loves and takes care of us. So Satan likes to tempt us, to draw us away from God's love. Hebrew 2.18 said, Because he himself suffered when he was tempted, he is able to help those who are being tempted. Let's meditate on this verse. Question 1. Why Jesus can help us during temptation? This is because Jesus was also tempted 40 days in the wilderness. He understands the feeling of being tempted. Thus, he can help us. Question 2. What must I do to resist temptation? Well, we can ask Jesus to help us. Jesus has been tempted, but he overcame temptation. So he can help us to overcome our temptation too. Psalms 119 verse 9 and 11 said, How can a young man stay on the path of purity? By living according to your words. I've hidden your words in my heart that I may not sin against you. Let's meditate. Question 1. How can I stay on the right path? By living according to God's word. Question 2. What does hiding God's word mean? To hide God's word, we can memorize it. By memorizing God's word, we can store God's word in us and we can draw it out when we are tempted. When Jesus was tempted, he caught God's word and Satan ran away. So when we memorize God's word, we can use it to fight Satan off. By relying on God's resources, we can grow and mature in Christ. God's resources help us to know God's spirit and his strength so we can overcome temptation. His provision and peace ensure us of his faithfulness. Since these 12 verses are so helpful, let's memorize it. You can always refer to the video on how to memorize scripture. In this video, it shows you a simple and easy step-by-step -step way to memorize any verses. Finally, we can fully rely on God's resources to help us to grow and mature in our Christian life.